Hello, welcome to Inspire for Travel. And just in case you're new around here, my name is Wimba Imani. Now, the other day I was walking around Carrier Co Market in downtown Dar es Salaam and someone came up to me. Hey, Wimba, how you doing? Really like your content on YouTube. And I want to ask you, some of the best things I can do here in Dar es Salaam or other places in Tanzania. So it got me thinking, hmm, people coming to Tanzania may not know some of the hot spots where they can go and enjoy themselves out here. So today I got you covered. That's right, baby. I'll be talking about the top five best places that you can visit when you come here to Tanzania. So if you're interested in learning about some of the things you can do in Tanzania, then you're at the right place. Come Okay, coming in at number five is none other than Kariako Market located in Dar es Salaam. Now, for many people coming to Tanzania, one of the first cities you'll visit is none other than Dar es Salaam, the commercial capital of Tanzania. That's where a lot of things pop in. Nightlife, vibes, markets, real street food, all of that vibe is going down in Dar es Salaam. Bongo flavor, baby. That's right. So it's an amazing city. And why not learn about the whole vibe of the city? Immerse yourself in the culture of the people here in Dar es Salaam. And an amazing place to do so is a visit to Karyako Market. There you will have the opportunity to check out the street food, interact with the local people, seeing how they do business in the marketplaces, and also checking out some amazing restaurants located in Karyako itself. You can sample some Swahili food, some local foods, you know, things like ugali, samaki, which is fish, and mboga, which is vegetables and different things like that. Local organic food. Really immerse yourself in the culture of the city. And I think a good place to do so and a good starting point to do so is none other than Carrier Co Market in Dar es Salaam. So that is a must for you to visit when you come to Tanzania. And it's budget friendly. It's free to go there. You can, of course, don't spend money if you don't want to. And if you do want to spend money, that'll be on you. If you're buying food, if you're buying any of the clothing there, if you're checking out some of the fabric and different things like that. So a visit to Karyako Market is a must. Okay, coming in at number four is none other than Kidimwi Beach Nightclub, located in Dar es Salaam. Now, if you're looking to have a good time, you're looking to party hard, then get your dancing shoes out and come out and party like a champ here at Kidimwi Beach in Dar es Salaam. Now, what I like about this club, some other clubs in Dar es Salaam, there's only a seating area. You go in, you could just have a drink, you can't really vibe with no one or nothing like that. But at Kidimwi Beach, there's a big area where people are standing, like you can see right now. People are dancing, interacting with each other, and really having a good time out there. It's a real nice vibe at the place. Now, it's only 10,000 Tanzanian shillings to get inside, which is around five US dollars. So that's a really affordable price. And drink, drinks are also very much affordable. So you, you get people that can pay to come inside. It's a real good crowd in there. No kind of violence, no kind of people trying to rob you, no guns busting, none of that. It's just a real cool, calm vibe in there. Now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's on, and even sometime during the week, they have certain events going on down there. So yeah, if you want to really have a good time in Dar es Salaam, you can check out the other clubs, but make sure you visit Kidimwi Beach. It's a real vibe there. And during the day, there's also like a restaurant situation going there where you can literally go and chill, enjoy the beautiful sea view that you can get from this place as well, and enjoy your food and kick back and relax. So yeah, Kidimwi Beach coming in at number four. Okay, coming in at number three is none other than the Kisasa Waterfalls located in Lushoto, Tanga region, Tanzania. Now, for many people, this is a whole different vibe from the last one we just did in the nightclub. This here is a real natural environment, guys. When you talk about natural beauty, this place is the Garden of Eden on Earth. And what I like about it, it's a very calm, 
calm place guys i'm telling you if you're looking for that real laid back chill vibes in nature this is the place to be now it's located in a village there in lushoto the villagers are very friendly willing to show you around and for the price for around three us dollars you can get in and enjoy all of this when i was there i felt blessed man i had all of this environment to myself not many tourists was there when i went so that was really good i could really just kick back relax get my drinks out get my food out and just enjoy this place so if you're looking to really see the real heart and the real beauty of tanzania a visit to kisasa waterfalls located in lushoto is a must just look at the beautiful waterfalls you're seeing on your screen right now it's waiting for you you gotta check it out baby when you come to tanzania okay coming in at number two on my list is none other than meru forest ecotourism located in arusha northern tanzania now this place is absolutely stunning guys i had an amazing experience visiting there and so you will too just heed my advice don't think twice you might even see monkeys swinging i'm telling you this place is winning amazing place guys beautiful beautiful environment and i even had the opportunity as well to see a waterfall there so you get to really go down the nature trail have a little hike situation going on and at the end of it look what you're seeing on your screen right now you get to see the Meru waterfalls really beautiful and really nice guys and I really like it another thing about this place it's affordable for the price around 10 US dollars you get the entrance fee and you get to enjoy all of this guys so it's definitely worth your time when you visit Tanzania and if you're in the city of Arusha Meru Meru Forest ecotourism is a must guys check the place out you could even have um there's seating areas there so you could have like a picnic or whatever bring your food bring your drinks you could come with your friend your sick your significant other or whatever man it's a good vibes there in Arusha at the Meru Forest ecotourism that's coming in at number two Okay, coming in at number one, can I get a drum roll please? At number one is none other than Lake Victoria or Lake Nyanza located in Mwanza City in northwestern Tanzania. This place is absolutely amazing. It makes me want to speak Swahili. Mazingira ya kupendeza sana sana. Yes, this is a beautiful environment translated in English. And I really love going there. You can do two things. You can do what I did. Just stand on the rocks and just enjoy the views that you're seeing. Seeing how the rock formation are seeing how people build their houses that is bismarck rock you're looking at right in front of you one of the wonders of this place how that big boulder is just balancing on its own so that's something you can see or you can go on a boat cruise and really emerge yourself and learn more about lake victoria and really see more of the place absolutely stunning stunning environment there in mwanza city so yeah lake victoria or lake nyanza is coming in at number one on the list today you gotta check it out when you visit tanzania it's a must so i'm really happy that you are listening to me today i hope you enjoy the list and if i missed out any other places that you feel should have been in this video today leave it in the comment section below drop a comment and let's talk about it let's get a conversation going on now another thing guys i've got something really special coming up is almost like a course on how you can really do budget travel in tanzania so if you really want to learn how to travel to various cities in tanzania for an affordable price knowing where some of the best places to stay in tanzania or even learning about long-term stay learning about visas different things like that i'm putting a course together and it will be out soon so if you want to learn more about it i have my mailing list link below this video right in the comment section click on that link drop your email in there and you'll be notified as soon as i release this course and you'll be getting exclusive information i appreciate your time guys i'm wemba imani and i'm out